We've got an iPad here on a desktop stand which will be used in a guardhouse mainly for the application of the built-in microphone via the HIC Connect app to be able to speak to an intruder <clears throat> on the perimeter we're using bi-spectrum HIC vision cameras the thermal and the color camera all in one so the color would give you a visual con uh, verification and the thermal would provide you with uh, the accurate triggers, line crossing and intrusion are the two uh, VCA features that we used from there. So we first downloaded the app, um, which is now, it's now May 2020. They've got their own app store.hikvision.com. Um, you run the APK, you've got your new HIC Connect app. Don't pull in the NVR you will not get audio through the NVR to the camera you've got to pull in the camera individually then create a favorite and just add all the cameras individual cameras to the favorite so you get your favorites they all pop up as if it's an NVR with all the cameras together uh, you can go to individual cameras and then just activate your audio which I'll show now and some other features as well um, adding your camera manual adding online um, i added this ptz and the bi-spectrum camera with the color and the thermal together one one camera one device so let's say i want to go to that camera you'll see there it is the microphone is now active i can now activate it i don't want to make a noise on site so let's do this quickly and silently just see that there's going to be a microphone here which i can press and talk and there's a little cross to um, just take the menu away or switch off the microphone. So there's the audio, there's the little cross, you can hardly see it. That's to switch off the microphone. So that's a microphone on site, um, obviously a powered speaker, horn speaker with a little amplifier built in. Audio from the camera, audio out goes into the little amplified horn speaker. So you've got audio all the way across, should reach anybody in that distance of what 150 200 meters um, there's your thermal in inlay on the picture double tap and you can add the there's your drop down there's your thermal refreshing over the internet land should be faster and let's open up this one and i do nine images i can add say nine or 16 images so the guard will be watching this they can then tap let's just add the ptz as well the ptz also got audio so there's your ptz it's refreshing just note that the first time you do add it's going to when you want to, there's going to be a little lock on on the image it's not going to show you the image and the lock is asking you for the verification code you've got to know what the camera's verification code is which was um, inserted during the setup um, on this PTZ, I've also got a little microphone. So there we go. There's the cross. So that's audio. That's all they need to do. Now, you don't want a guard to go and do this. Fiddle around, go on the internet, etc. So what we do is we've set up the lock feature, which with the... Android, oh uh, sorry, with the Apple devices, you press the home button three times in succession. One, two, three. Guided access started. So now you can't really go out. But it just goes nowhere. It's enabled triple click. So there's my triple click if I want to go out. Gotta put in a password to go out. They don't know what the password is. I know what the password is. That's where you protect this device from being misused in the guardhouse guided access enabled so you've got to go into the menu of guided access and just set that up with a password etc but it's otherwise other than that it is simply pressed once to get the message three times to get to here there we go and i'm going to say end now i can go out guided access has ended and go into my settings and you'll you'll get it in the setup and there's my group at the top you just add your device to favorites add to favorites there's your share as well if i had another group for off-site let's say i could be sitting somewhere else and add them via hit connect 
make up a favorite group and add these offline devices via the peer-to-peer -peer connection which would be hit connect from a, a different site and then you can use audio you can monitor it from anywhere so having the ipad on the desktop advantages first of all quick easy let's go to the pdz i'm going to show you the controls there there's the con there's the controls they've simplified it and there's one feature that they took away and that is the feature of setting presets and tours can't do it on the app now so that was an issue the feature of presets were in here as well you could call them but you could also set them so the guards by accident pressed the set and then suddenly all my presets were set out and they're not in the right place anymore so i couldn't let that uh, allow that there's a little cross again menu sub menu there's a little menu under more, this one will give you the speed of the PDZ. I've set it a bit slower because it's by default it's set at about five, I think, and that's extremely fast. But there's your zoom, PDZ, speed, zoom, and I would hardly do focus because it's auto focus, but you can do a manual focus. And then there's your little cross to get rid of that menu. So there's the setup on the iPad which I still think is good, but I doubt whether I'm going to do an iPad again. I'm going to have an Android device rather, maybe a Samsung Galaxy Tab. I hope this helps. It's quite nice. It's quite easy to do PTZ. Very easy to go to the audio. Only real way, easy way to get audio if you want to speak to someone on site. Otherwise, you have the software. You can't do it directly via the NVR. You can't add a microphone directly onto the NVR and then speak through the NVR by, vis by uh, viewing the screen of the NVR. And it's either IVMS software onto a PC, microphone on the PC, preferably a laptop built-in microphone, much easier, otherwise you're going to know how to set up the microphone on the PC and get the audio going, not that difficult, can be done, or this would be easier, it's cheaper than a PC, this would be easier more control, much easier to get to whatever you want to go to. Make sure that your favorites are set up. You've got your screen. It's a nine screen. That's all they view all day long. Now just tap on it and go to the microphone and off they go. PDZ, tap on it, go to the PDZ controls and off you go. So that's how I would suggest if you're going to do perimeter protection in a guard house is to add the either a Android or in the Apple version, iPad, um, but with Heat Connect app would be the best way to add audio.